Today I have this device and I wanted to show it to you. It's pretty old from 1996-1997 but also pretty cool. Um, it's a laser engraving machine with a CO2 tube inside of this very big and heavy uh, device and here is the controller from this system it's a 10 watt laser that is going through the laser tube and coming right here to some mirrors where it gets disturbed and onto this plate and I found this on a site like Craigslist and it works pretty good. I just want to show it to you because I don't find anything of from this machine on the internet and it's it's just mind blowing. What was possible at this time? Okay. First I want to show some of the parts and then we go to a running test like engraving onto wood or plastic or some other pieces. Here uh, we have the main controller for the laser and the uh, motor drivers are also inside of this. This is one motor driver block here and this is the other one. I can try to pull them out. So maybe with a screwdriver. This is one of the motor drivers, this is for the y-axis, as you can see here, and the other motor driver is exactly the same, but controls obliviously the other motor, that's right here. Then we have the CPU, the controller itself. Here you can set the frequency at which the laser pulses the light and the power of the laser. This is in ampere or percentage from 0 to 10 watt. Also some operation starters and you can choose, choose between um, an internal, so this uh, settings or you can control it from your computer where you can select at which power and at which frequency the whole thing works. Here we have the safety shutter. This is a part inside of the laser itself, right inside here. It's a little plate that gets in front of the laser light and will not allow to go any laser through this tube. So it's a safety feature. In, at the time the shutter is closed, you can hold your hand under the laser and it is safe to use, safe to work. On the right side we have an emission indicator that's just to show that the power is there and the laser has the voltage. Also you have the main power switch, which a key, so nobody that is not allowed to use it is, can operate it. On the laser head itself there is nothing much to see, just a lens 
which is screwed on the bottom. So I will unscrew it. There it is. It's not so clean, but it's very old, the whole system. You have to clean it with the alcoholic solution. This lens is a special diameter and has a special distortion. So, as you can see here, this is just the focus on 170 millimeter and you can also put another lens in here but I don't have that so it will make the focus point a little bit deeper for example like uh, 300 millimeters and if you have that the whole area where you can laser is a little bit bigger bigger sorry With this lens at 170mm we have a build area of about 10 by 10 centimeters, and it can laser it at about 600mm per second, but we will see that later. One station under it is the main computer for the whole thing. It is working with an interface module inside of it, so it's not used by a regular USB port or LPT, so a, a printer port or COM port. It's a special port just for this laser. Be that's the reason why I have to use this computer and not can use a laptop, a newer one also. The computer itself runs at 133 MHz and is also from 1997. In my opinion it runs pretty fast but it has no internet connection and nothing else. That's the reason for it. I will now turn the laser on so you can see how it looks like and I must say it's pretty loud, so maybe you don't will understand me as good as now. This is now a normal Windows screen and it's running on this old computer with 133 MHz. And yes, it has a mouse that works with a COM port. So the program for the laser is called Stylus Graphics Plus and I will open it now with this desktop icon. The laser was sold in Germany under a German company and I think it's just OEM so in reality it comes from another place. I can now start the connection to the laser. If I press this button it will prompt me to open a, an old project but I will just press 
exit and I have now the option to create a new laser area. Here also I can open a known project but I will do a new one for now. I have here the area of my laser, it's 10 by 10 centimeters or 100 per to 100 millimeters. The center is always zero and it goes to minus or to plus 50 millimeters in each direction. I can now draw some points here make circles or I can draw text. I have to use this old keyboard. I just will write hi YouTube and that's it. I will delete this one circle. I will make the radius to about 25 millimeters from the cir this circle and now I have just to click on the YouTube logo I can bring it to the back so the text is behind it and there I can choose another start position it's not via drag and drop I can not put it on another place. Let's try that. Okay, it's just again the circle. And then Okay, we have now a text that says hi YouTube and a circle around it and we could laser it now when we press this laser button. For this I have to turn on the laser again. It's just so loud that I will do it now. For now I will laser on this pretty hard acrylic plate just to show you how fast the laser is and what it looks like. The power is around 29%. That's it. This is just another file I found on this computer and I will laser it now. And yes, this was real time.
just so fast. I hope that I am allowed to show it to you, but these are the original manual and also that's Here you can see the original state from the laser, the original purpose. It was in a factory that was engraving it calls Schlosszangen. It's the part in your car which goes onto your seat belt, this metal clip, and there it has to be a serial number and I mean it's also a barcode and only for this little purpose the whole system was used. There is in the manual a description how a rotation table was used to put one seat belt lock into the holder and it turns around with a, a safety field around the laser beam and also a safety switch so the safety beam does not get turned on if the um, case was not closed as you can see here and the good thing about this thing is, I have another one. So, that's it for now. I hope you like this. I find this very impressive, the whole machine, how fast it can go and what was possible at that time. I will wait for any comments. Just ask if you want to know something about it. If you want to see some internal electrics for the interface card from the computer or maybe the laser tube or the motors are that are inside of this and this cap then I will make another video let's shut it down <laughs>